Hey there, it's Blaine from Current Automotive and check it out. We just got our first Model Y. Let's take a look. So this is the Model Y Performance and it has the Performance Upgrades Package which gives us these 21 inch Uber turbine wheels, of course the red Performance Brake Calipers and coming around back it gives us this carbon fiber rear deck lid spoiler. And uh, with the black wheels and the spoiler, uh, really, really goes great with the rest of this car because all Model Ys have this blacked out trim on the door handles. Wherever you'd have chrome on a Model 3, you basically have blacked out on the Model Y. And I think it's a really, really great look with the performance package, especially with these dark wheels. Uh, the performance upgrades package also increases the top speed of the Model Y to 155 miles per hour. However, it also decreases range from about 315 miles down to 280. You know, like the extra weight or poor aerodynamics of these large wheels do have a pretty significant negative impact on range, but it is a really, really great look. And by the way, this car is basically brand new. It has just 339 miles on it at the time of recording. And we just got the car in a couple of days ago. It finished its detail and inspection that we give to all cars that come in here to Current Automotive. And we just have it charging on 110 now. Uh, we're going to have official photos taken of it today and put up on our website uh, later today or tomorrow. Move on inside here. It's uh, basically the same to the Model 3. Of course, if you've seen or you're familiar with the Model 3, you will, of course, recognize that. The biggest change is that you're sitting so much higher compared to the Model 3. That's like the biggest thing you'll notice. And there's a wider room uh, for seat adjustments here. You can raise the seat higher and lower than you can otherwise do in a Model 3. But otherwise, up front, it's basically the same as everything else you'd see. In here, it's all the same. So basically, if it's a Model 3, if you're used to a Model 3, this is going to be very, very familiar to you. I'm just gonna prove real quick, this car has just 339 miles on it. Of course, dual motor with the red underline also shows that it is a performance car. Now, this car is equipped with just a standard autopilot with adaptive cruise control and auto steer. But it does have, of course, the full self-driving computer, which just about every new Tesla built today has the full self-driving computer. And that means that, uh, you know, it's just a software upgrade. You could just pay Tesla and get full self-driving at any time, just, you know, basically with a snap of the fingers. So we're going to go and take a look in the back seats here because the back seats are sort of where the differences start to become more apparent. But first, we're, we'll, we'll open those up while we're here. Going to uh, open up and take a look at the rear here. First thing you'll notice is that there's a lot more space for rear passengers. Uh, there's just a lot more height from you know, floor to ceiling because they've stretched the car and made it taller relative to the Model 3. And as a result, uh, taller passengers like myself feel a lot more comfortable when we are getting inside here. I've got a decent amount of headroom. I'm not really concerned there. And biggest improvement is that my knees, you know, I'm no longer crunching them up against the floor. There's just more seat height. So it's just far more comfortable back here for a taller passenger. So that is, you know, if I had to ride in a car for a road trip, uh, this would be where I would like to be compared to the Model 3. These seats actually have a couple of cool tricks too. So they are adjustable. So you've got this higher, sort of more further or straight up, but you can click this to either put them down or you can lean them back. So by leaning them back, you get a little bit more, you know, maybe a more comfortable seating angle for some, but downside for taller passengers 
is now my head is sitting against the uh, rear roof bar here. So if you're tall, you want to be aware of that. You don't want to be in a position of where your head is going to collide with the car's uh, structure if you are rear-ended or in an accident of any time, any any kind. That's kind of a one-way trip to concussion town. But each of these seats are fully adjustable um, up and down. So you've got two levels of lean here. And of course, they can come all the way down. If you want to fold, fold those down, keep one seat up, you can. Of course, you can fold that down and leave these seats up as well. You know, pretty common uh, functionality there, but it's nice to have. They are a little heavy, especially when you're only using one hand. So uh, back here in the trunk, this is of course going to be another big difference to the Model 3. Uh, this gate is actually a power gate. So you can open it up from the inside, it'll lift all the way up. You can close it and you can lift it back up. There's just a button right there that you press and it'll lift right on up. So it's going to look very familiar to Model 3 owners again, as, as most things in this car will. However, there is a ton of space back here. The floor is of course even deeper, so you can you know go all the way further down there. And this little panel here is actually adjustable as well. There's not as much space, there must be some sort of mechanical stuff down there, but if you don't have the seven seater Y, then you have a little bit more under floor storage. So, of course, the practicality of EVs is basically unrivaled when it comes to interior storage. The flat packaging of the battery just gives you way more space and flexibility uh, compared to basically any other car. We'll just come around here and take one quick look at the front. which is again, just a little bit deeper, I think, than what you would get on a Model 3, but otherwise not a ton of space because this is, a, and all Model Ys are all wheel drive cars. So a lot of stuff underneath here is all going to be um, electronics and the motor and stuff that, you know, is important to making the car go. And also as always, the one thing you get to fill on your Tesla is your windshield washer fluid. So that is the uh, Model Y. It's a great looking car. This version in particular, I think looks great, or this configuration with the white and the black performance upgrade. And it's just a, a great look. And uh, I haven't even had a chance to drive it yet, but I'm, you know, I will be getting to drive it soon. And you know, you'll have more to hear from us about this Model Y very soon. Stay tuned.